What's up, guys? Vagabundo Van Life here, where I'm going to take you through the second build day of our wall paneling in our 2013 Ford Transit Connect. I'll show you how we finished the wall panelings along with our custom cabinet doors for our his and hers closet. And I'm going to show you a custom sliding pullout drawer that we made to hold a 2020 folding Rad Mini e-bike. I'll show you how we used our table saw to cut down all of our plywood for our pullout drawers, along with installing this pullout tray for a full size standing Avanti refrigerator. So stick around for the full video. Okay, so we are back in the shop here and let's take a look at the progress that we made on our second day on this 2013 Ford Transit Connect. The majority of our wood panels are done here and if you want to see how we cut some of them, you can check out a video here in the top right hand corner. So these rear panels we are going to save towards the end because we need to take some measurements off of the interior and they are going to get finished in the same wood paneling as the interior of the van. And I'll just take you through some of the progress we made. So our rear porch lights are installed and connected to a switch on the right side. And that will just provide outdoor lighting when the doors are open. All of our panels on both walls and doors are complete, keeping full size sheets on the inside of the van. The bottom portion is going to get covered by cabinets and drawers on both sides. So we don't need to worry about the cut and exposed pieces. Some really nice finishing touches here is the trunk felt that we use to meet the edges of the panel and ceiling to give a nice contrasting color and a smooth finished edge. Our custom upholstered ceiling with all of our lighting and max air fan trim plate that we completed in a previous video, which you can find in the top right corner here. And we were able to cut all of our wood panels around all the edges of our doors and walls. We painted both closet doors with our black colored paint and finished off this extended storage area that you can find another video on the top right corner. And that's on both sides, kind of like a his and hers closet. And you can see all the finishing touches here along all the edges of the panel with their trunk felt around all the doors and walls. So one of the concerns that a lot of people have with insulating the inside of a truck or wood paneling is how much space they're gonna lose with the wood panel along with all of our insulation that both the sliding doors are gonna be able to work as normal. So when you're doing insulation, you're really only losing about a half of an inch on both sides. Uh, and in this case, you can see it takes up minimal space to have a very well insulated vehicle along with all of our wood paneling gives a really nice tight fitment. The inside is almost whisper quiet when all the doors are closed. So what we're gonna be doing now is test fitting our refrigerator freezer combo here. That's actually a freezer, an Avanti chest freezer. And what we're going to do on that freezer is attach an external thermostat to it to change the temperature setting to a refrigerator. And that should allow us to keep the bottom half as a freezer and the top half as a refrigerator at about a 2.5 cubic feet capacity. So what we're gonna start doing here is making our pullout drawer for our refrigerator. So that refrigerator is actually gonna pull out the left side cargo door. So at this point, Victor's gonna cut down the plywood for the side of our sliding drawer for the refrigerator. And right here, he's using a jigsaw to cut a hole where the power cord is gonna exit out the side. And at this point in the build, we're gonna start building our left side pullout drawer that we're gonna to use to hold this 2020 folding rad mini bike. So in this case, we wanted to make this drawer multi-use. So we're gonna put this folding mini bike in it and leave enough space to put a storage tote. If let's say you didn't wanna take the mini bike uh, or some equipment, different, basically a multi-use storage area with 250 pound slides on both sides. And we're going to keep the finished height of the cabinet 
at the exact height of our freezer. So that'll give us a nice high platform on both sides with some additional storage above the folding bike. So for this storage drawer on the Rad Mini Bike is if the customer doesn't want to take it, we still want to have an accessible drawer on that side. So if they take the bike out, they can still use it for storage. So we're going to make about a 15 inch high storage drawer wood panel here to hold the actual mini bike in. So that it'll still be a fully functional drawer with a good size capacity. We are going to be putting a fold down table on this rear door. So we need to account for that when measuring. And one of the reasons why these custom builds do take so much time is you need to do tons of fitting and refitting, measuring and remeasuring on all these components. Here is Victor cutting down a full size three quarter inch plywood board uh, on our table saw to make the main supporting frame on the right side of that pullout drawer. So you'll rip that down to size putting the left side full size piece to the side. That's gonna be the piece that we're gonna use. And then that right side, what we're gonna do here is cut that down to size. That full size panel up against the Rad Mini Power Bike. And we're gonna just keep cutting that down to size, gaining as much space on the right side as possible so that we can fit a full size bed on the right side of the actual cabinet. The Rad Mini folding bike fits in that small space along with our fridge freezer and this full size sliding drawer is beginning to take shape. Actual drawer being assembled. So we need to cut down all the plywood to size. What we wanted to do was have it about a 15 inch high drawer. So we're going to cut that plywood on our table saw again. Careful adjustments being made here. Just taking off a small amount on the right side. To give us the perfect distance and assembling our drawer with wood glue and screws. Pre-drilling all of our holes first. Fastening them with our screws. The pull-out drawer starting to take shape again here. And to make some additional room on this left side, we're going to cut the plywood with a jigsaw right around the wheel well. So we can just gain that small additional space we're just gonna keep cutting this back so that buys us any amount of space we can have in this small Ford Transit Connect. And with all the adjustments that we made on this pullout cabinet for the Rad Mini bike, it's just to gain us a little bit additional space on the right side. So right now we gained about a two or three inches on the right side so that we can fit as much sleeping area. That way we can fit two people comfortably on the right side. And what you'll see is the additional storage space above the bike. So this will be kind of like a multi-use area. You can cook on it. You can do some basic uh, task on top of it, like a countertop. It'll flip open and have some storage. And the cool thing about it also is we're gonna put a platform bed on that top side where you could, if you wanted to sleep another person on top of that section, and they'll be about 14 or 15 inches from the ceiling. So just enough to fit a person. It is gonna be tight to the ceiling and we know that. And with the refrigerator draw here, what we wanted to be able to do is put that on a 24 inch slide so we can slide it completely out the driver's side cargo door. So you can load it from the outside or when you slide it back in, have enough room where you can retrieve about half of the items on the inside. So since this truck is a demo unit that we're gonna to use to take around and show people our camper van conversions, we love to demonstrate how you can use these chest style freezers to have both a refrigerator and freezer uh, and in this case with a pullout drawer. So with four transit connects, we really wanna focus on living out of the van, not living so much inside the van because it's so small. Uh, but we could change this to a complete storage cabin if you wanted, if you didn't want a fridge in that case. And you really can see the benefit of these chest style freezers is it's an Energy Star rated unit. It is a chest freezer, right? So we're gonna swap that over to a refrigerator, 2.5 cubic feet. It's about $180, so very affordable. So if the item was to go down and break on you, I would just swap this out. I wouldn't even be concerned about repairing it. Your uh, yearly kilowatt hours is very low. This is a very low draw item. So once it reaches temperature, it's gonna stay at that temperature for a very long time. You'll be able to see the inside of this unit, how it's so heavily insulated. So by putting the external thermostat in the top half of it, what we should be able to do is keep the bottom half of the uh, freezer uh, to stay a freezer and let the top half be a refrigerator uh, by just putting a layer of ice and insulation in the top. 
of the bottom set. So this really should be one of the lowest energy draw items in the van. So really the, one of the big advantage of going chest freezer over refrigerator or, or 12 volt refrigerator. And here a nice little detail you're gonna see is Victor notching out a small cut on the back side of this entire draw unit. And that's just gonna be so that it sits flush against the trim on the left side. So just using a router here to cut that small amount of uh, material away so that it fits perfectly, really taking advantage of every small space in this van. So we put the pullout drawer all the way back into the van. So this is about a 40 inch pullout drawer with heavy duty 250 pound slides on each side to support the 75 pound e-bike and any gear that you want to put in there and making sure that we left enough space on the right side as I said before. So uh, that's all the space that we were able to gain here. And that's it for day two. Thank you so much for watching. We would love for you to like this video, hit the notification bell, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you on the next video.